Honda has been sending the CB500 X-Size trials for several weeks, and after a few trips it could become one of the leading mid-range adventurers for the A2 category. But before thinking hard, let's break down what the Honda CB500 X is. This could be one of the preferred motorbikes for those who have an A2 license who are looking for a first step to adventure motorbikes. Review of first impressions of the Honda CB500 X 2021 instantly feels at home on the bike, the upright position is nice and comfortable, and with the wide handlebars raised it can really carve out the road, the CB500 X loves the rear road, which has a lot of it around. Seat height is 830mm, which for adventure bikes is on the underside, machine power is inviting, and there is always when you want it across the entire rev range, the 471cc liquid-cooled twin delivers a peaking 46 bhp at 8600 bhp, and 43 Nm of torque at 6500 revolutions per minute, numbers that are perfectly usable, and can really start it. Pushing it to its limit on windy roads that are widely available in the area does feel the crosswinds at higher speeds, but tucking it behind the scenes does prevent a lot of the jerking from coming, something riders from 125cc would normally do when riding, but riders who are used to people the savages of the heavyweight ADV world might be surprised when they descend. Ride overall, the CB500X is a lot of fun to drive, and more than happy to flip through despite reading previous owner reviews that said really should encourage it to lean, and have to say feeling otherwise on the model 2021, the ride feels incredibly smooth and responsive. Related article it weighs 197 kilograms, and it weighs quite a bit over the bike, to provide 180 millimeters of ground clearance, but once it's in motion it all feels perfectly balanced. Shorter riders may have the challenge of driving the bike in tight spaces, but it's definitely controllable. Despite the soft suspension, it handles uneven roads well, and keeps the two wheels in place without getting out of the saddle. Standing on pegs feels stable, but have to wait to do off-road to give a full explanation about it. Features in terms of rider features, Honda is straightforward. There are no switchable driving modes or apps, and the LCD dashboard is great for basic information looking for. But it does get a little glare in direct sunlight, the TFT dashboard would be nice but not essential. The CB500X 2021 model has a new sticker pack, corresponds to Euro 5, and a few touches of style, but is still looking for a big difference from the previous model in terms of immediate features. Review of the Honda CB500X 2021 model Even so, previous reviews noted throttle shaking at low speeds, and a shaking handlebars above 65 mph, both of which haven't caught my eye yet so maybe Honda has adjusted these little details behind the scenes. Is the adventurous Honda CB500X the perfect A2? Who is this bike for? Adventure fans will immediately raise their hands, but let it be this young adventure bike wearing a suit and tie and leaving for the big city to finish his job in finance. Everything makes perfect sense, but behind all that sensibility is a motorbike, or graduate, who just wants to laugh and maintain the underlying adventure style. It may not be ready for adventure right away, 
but it has all the basics for a solid all-around player. Honda CB500X Side Profile So, the CB500X is a lot of fun to drive, and I really enjoyed it after just a few days of driving it. It can also be the perfect choice for beginners who look up to the future Africa Twin and pass the exam on the CB650F. So give it a week and we'll come back with a more in-depth review for it.